like one of those canine magicians who can make food disappear in the blink of an eye? If so, I have five ideas that will not only stop your dog from eating too fast, but also help them to practice calming skills. In addition, some of these ideas can help you to build a stronger bond with your dog, which means more fun with your dog and more of the behavior that you want. I've saved some of the best ideas for last, so make sure that you watch straight through to the end. If you want to be your dog's hero, then consider subscribing. On my channel, I share lots of different ideas on how to make life better for both you and your dog. Studies have shown that many animals, including dogs, when not food deprived, will actually choose to work for their food rather than choose to be fed freely. This is called contra freeloading, coined by animal psychologist Glenn Jensen in 1963. Dogs often enjoy a challenge and eating is such a big part of their lives. We can help enrich that experience for them. Idea number one, slow feeding bowls. If you are used to feeding your dog from a bowl every day, this is a good transition to slowing down a fast eating dog and making eating more interesting for the dog. Along with other foods, I give my dogs a kind of homemade stew with broth, and I even add supplements and medication to these bowls. The bowls work great for this. I've used a variety of these outward hound slow feeding bowls, and I find they're sturdy and long lasting, except if you accidentally leave them on a hot stove. Ask me how I know that. So don't do that. The only one problem that I had with these bowls was that my puppy skein chewed around the edges and the bottom, and so he removed the non-slip base. So if you use this bowl with a puppy or a dog who really likes to chew, just make sure that you take it right away when your dog is finished. These bowls are a great purchase and they will likely last you many years. Idea number two, scatter feeding. Dogs love to forage. If you feed dry food or kibble, you can slow down your dog's eating and make it more interesting for your dog by scattering food. You can buy a snuffle mat to hide the food, or you can even wrap food in a towel. You can use boxes that contain other objects so that your dog gets used to different sounds and textures. If it's dry outside and you have a safe grass lawn that doesn't have poisonous mushrooms or lawn chemicals, then you can make a trail of food for your dog to follow. Sniffing is particularly good for dogs who tend to be anxious and need to decompress. Dogs love to sniff. Idea number three, freezing foods inside treat dispensing toys in hooves or even beef trachea. For this, you can use canned dog food, tripe, raw food if you're a raw feeder, even a bit of salmon or other meat, plus yogurt. I buy cans of salmon bones that sometimes go on sale for my dogs. Fill them with whatever your dog likes. If it's relatively healthy and can be frozen, if frozen is too difficult for your dog, then just don't freeze. Whatever you feed your dog, you can generally stuff into one of these food dispensing toys. One of my favorite food dispensing products is the Westpaw Topple. You can buy two sizes that fit into each other. Sometimes I'll stuff the sides with something like cheese and then fill them up even more. It's fun for the dog to chew these, and they're pretty easy to clean up afterwards. When I want my dogs to settle on a crate or in a boundary, this is the option that I will often use. Idea number four. These snack snakes are a total favorite of mine. I don't use them for wet food, but I fill them with things like kibble, dried liver, dried apple, and dehydrated beef. I tend to use larger chunks so that the dog has to work at getting the food. You can use tiny kibble, but make sure you face the snake upward and let the dog do the work dumping it out. A lot of treat dispensing toys move around easily and make a lot of noise. These snakes are a bit challenging for the dog, but they don't roll, which is kind of awesome. They do squeak. Again, if you have a dog who is still a puppy or a big chewer, you may want to remove the snake after your dog has enjoyed the treats. These are two types of snack snakes that I bought. One is long and the other is curved. I like both. The curved one seems to hold a few less snacks, so it may be ideal for a smaller dog. 
My dogs are Border Collies and I use both types. These are also great for boundary training and calm time. Idea number five, use your food for training. There are so many games you can do with your dog to teach basic skills. You can teach your dog leash and recall skills, how to hold an object, yes. how to fetch, how to catch food, and many, many more skills. Even teaching your dog to lie down or to do a nose touch is a great opportunity to use some of their daily food allowance. Using food for training is enriching for dogs and it helps a fast eating dog learn new food skills. Even dogs that are not that food motivated, like my two young border collies, enjoy being fed while we play games together. I've included some links to some of the products that I use in the description below. Using food in interesting ways is enriching and fun for a dog and it helps to create new habits. For more training ideas, check out one of these videos. Happy training.